Hi, I'm Emily Ullman, and I'm the CEO of Hopscotch Interactive. And today, we're going to the Broadway in downtown Oakland so we can take a tour of this historic property in the heart of Oakland. And we're going to meet with Anthony Shell, who is a principal broker at Avis & Young. Let's dive inside. On one hand, we have this gorgeous old school trust apartment, which was part of the original build out of the building. This was a large bank building. Look at its first generation. Ownership has plans to do a speakeasy, as you were aware of back here at some point. Yeah. When retail reopens and whatnot. So this will be a speakeasy at some point. Once again, you know, combining past meets present, yeah. old meets new. Um, we were in the process of looking for a speakeasy operator. Do you think that there was a speakeasy here? There may have been a speakeasy. In, back in the day? I know that there were dance parties thrown here a long time ago for sure. Uh-huh. So yeah, we'll see uh, we'll see what new form this takes. Look at the look at this, like you're walking through the vault. I love that because you just feel like you've been stepping back in time. This is so crazy. It is so crazy. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> so in the past, this back room was used for back office space for the bank. Um, this has been vacant for a long time. Prior to COVID, we had plans to make this a co-working space for a clothing school. Yeah, did you find anything you didn't expect when you were starting to renovate this space? You know, we found a lot of old uh, bank papers and artifacts and some, and some check, uh, checkbooks and whatnot, which Seriously? I thought was really interesting. Yeah, a lot of history in these walls. Especially when you're trying to show somebody something where it's like, imagine this space is going to look like this when it's all built out, exactly. but you're standing here looking at it right now. So well, I know. think that's why we both of us agree on the power of augmented reality, virtual reality, and 3D Matterport touring abilities. You know, this space is kind of a mess right now in its current configuration. <laughs> we had a team of 30 people down here working diligently day in and day out to clear this space and get it ready for construction. Yeah. Obviously, like all of our lives, COVID-19 about March 2020 put a hard stop on that and we had to halt all activities going forward. Yeah. And so I think it's so critical to have that type of uh, technology engagement from a property standpoint, mm -hmm. because we don't know what the highest and best use is for this space. By utilizing technology such as Matterport or augmented reality to show this space off, it'll help A, visualize when you're on site, mm -hmm. but more so than that, the Matterport videos will allow to bring people inside from far away. Absolutely. Vault everywhere you look. Vault everywhere you look. It's like clock makers on it's, steroids. It seriously is. Like somebody designed this in, well, how old is this building? How long this ago did it? was built in 1905. Okay, so 1905. This is 100 and what even like? 16 years. 116 year old technology, at least that old. It still looks in amazing condition. What I think is, you know, Steve Jobs and the way that he used to design products and his demand that you would have the inside of the computer be as beautiful as the outside, mm -hmm. even if no one would see the inside. Mm -hmm. And you can see that type of craftsmanship and work. I mean, it's just gorgeous, the tempered steel and whatnot. So this building has been owned by a long time by the Hussainian family. They're a local family trust investing in buildings. Um, this has been something that they've owned since 1991. They have an amazing sense of style to themselves, and it's always been a little bit of old meets new, a little bit of Gatsby-esque theme. I'm feeling the Art Deco, yeah, yeah. yeah. This lobby was under construction for about a year and a half prior to completion. Mm -hmm. We finished it at the end of 2019. They installed this wonderful coffee kiosk, the Broadway Coffee, which I think is a great, uh, one of the best in-lobby coffee kiosks. Familiar with Oakland, you know that Oakland is an amazing coffee city. Yeah. There's so much good coffee totally. here. And so when you see some of the big names like Starbucks or Pete's and you're, you know, this offers an alternative to that that we were so excited to do and it just really was starting to get traction when COVID started. So we're excited to kind of keep that traction going and whatnot. But besides that, we always wanted to create kind of a hotel boutique feel. You can't recreate uh, something that's this ornate. You just simply, they don't have those cross craftspeople anymore to 100%, do that. 100%. And what's so amazing when you think about what the past brought us in the world of office buildings yeah. is it brought you this insane level of ornate detail. I mean, to think that you would have this type of etching done in a billion dollar skyscraper today is, is not possible. But, mm -hmm. but here it is in a little building on the corner of 11th and Broadway. So speaking of living many different lives, this floor has lived many different lives under tenants. This was originally uh, the home of Mosaic, which is a large venture capital-backed 
a solar sales platform. Mm -hmm. And they, like many venture capital backed companies, really focused on improving the environment for their employees. Technology firms really view their uh, places of work as a way to recruit and retain talent, which is a really important way to look at its space, in my opinion. So they spent, went above and beyond. They took a certain budget from the landlord and went way above that, out of these living walls, all the way through. Oh my gosh, this is actually a live plant. Look at these. And you can see, if you look back in, you can see the trays where they fed water. So I know that the groups that yeah. were here prior were feeding them nutrients and the water and what have you. And it really became like an office pet. In my opinion, this is the best build out of the building. Wow, and it is so true that when you're looking at architectural space that has been done like this, that sometimes having the lights off gives you the best sense for how much light is in here. I mean, besides needing to have light sunlight or some artificial light on those live plants, this is all natural light coming in right now, and it is really bright and it feels really just airy and comfortable in here, so. I would agree. And that's another great thing is that not only do we have cool, brand new, modern heating and cooling systems mm -hmm, in here, mm -hmm. we also have operable windows, which is not something that you see often. So in the day and age of COVID, when we're talking about ventilation needs, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. But you can actually you open can these actually windows? actually open the windows. Really? So, and, and having such shallow bay depths and having the sides of the building so close mm -hmm. together, you really get a nice cross breeze. That's Once amazing. again, an older building design theme, operable windows, helping us in the current day. So then we get to the future of what 1212 Broadway will hold. This is a full floor, exactly the same floor plate as you saw downstairs in the mosaic space. We thought we were so close to a deal, we had begun to do some parts of the build out, creating and closing the main conference room right here. Mm -hmm. And we had begun to build a similar kitchen to what you saw downstairs, mm -hmm. this kind of cloud overhang. And then the deal uh, went away. Oh, and so, with the future hold for this space, we are still, uh, we are still trying to figure it out. And then we want to be able to give the viewers and to give the audience a chance to come and explore it for themselves and not only to see what it is now in its um, sort of reality capture mode in its as-built um, condition, but also to see what it might look like and to see the vision of what that future is for this space. The whole game has changed with, the, with Matterport Video being able to bring you inside the space from outside, but even more than that, it is taking you through the space with an augmented reality plan to really immerse yourself in that environment so you don't have to make any guesses about what it would feel like standing in your office here based on a 2D piece of paper for them. Yeah, let's bring the building to them. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for this first episode of Talking Walls. You can find me at anthonyshell.com or on Instagram at, at Office of the Gods. And you can find us at hopscotchinteractive.com or at Hopscotch Interactive on Instagram. Make sure to hit the notification button so you find out about all of our updates. Like, subscribe, and be in touch. That way you won't get locked out. Okay, that was like <laughs>